Here we go, 12 three-minute rounds for the WBO Interim Lightweight Championship of the World. Katsidis is a man who likes to come forward, and Earl said, well, that will just do fine for me, because that's where I like them. That's a good hook already by Katsidis. He started off very confidently. I was going to just take this guy at his face value and say to myself, OK, if he's a puncher, I've got to stay tucked up for the first round at least. I'm a slow starter. I can't meet fire with fire. Oh, good uppercut from Katsidis. He's already shown signs of the power that he's got in his punches. And straight away, they're right into each other's faces, toe for toe. So far as the bookies were concerned, good right hand there from Earl, incidentally. This virtually a pick and fight. Good body shot from Katsidis. Terrific light left hand that he buried in Earl's solar plexus. Well, John, you know what I'm surprised about Katsidis is He's a noted puncher, John, but he's a tight puncher, what I would call a tight puncher. Beautiful short right uppercut from Casidis. This guy means business, John. Well, he was exuding confidence, and I've said it before on more than one occasion, but you judge fighters a lot by that in the run-up to contests. He's been relaxed and absolutely full of it. Earl has got to be on the money here. Could be quick, you never know. But and they're trading real heavy bombs right from word go, Duke. He's got to keep his chin tucked right into his, his chest, John. I mean, he's, he's choosing to stand in front of Cassidis. Cassidis turns his hands right over as he punches, John, to get maximum power behind each shot. On paper, it is a step up in class for Cassidis, but if you analyse his opponents, some of them have gone in with real high-quality men and have performed with some distinction. And here he is, look at those body shots that he's aiming at Earl, trying to soften up Earl from word go. This is a real tough opening round for Graham Earl. But fair play, he's in there and he's returning fire with fire. Game though. Kassid is trying to turn those hooks right into the head of Earl. But he keeps winging over the right hand, John. And he just seems to be getting through of it. But Earl, you know, to his credit, he's staying tight, John, and he's trying to meet this guy wherever he wants it. There's a lot of headshots have landed on Graham Earl. And Katsidis looking to open up, and he's put him down in the opening round. In the opening round, the left hand put him down, and Earl really looks winded by that. He's looking closely at Mickey Vance's count, and he's got to his feet, but he's still on unsteady legs. Mickey Vance has walked towards me, and I'm not sure that Earl is in too good a state to continue, but he's allowed to do so. He may be one big punch away from defeat. He's down again in the opening round. In the opening round, and his Earl's got almost straight up, and I don't think that this fight can go on, can it? The bell is about to sound, and Katsidis is almost looking to sprint in. There goes the bell, and the fight continues. Well, that was what we feared could happen to Graham Earl. Katsidis landed absolute bombs. Somebody told me that it was a 25 to 1 shot. Katsidis winning in the opening round. Same price for the second round. Well, what price this fight going on beyond that now? Just look at these shots, dude. John, watch what he does with the right hand. He's been trying it from the first round. He turns the knuckle right over and he couldn't miss L with it. Unfortunately for L, he didn't have his hands in place. And his, his tactics are just a little bit wrong. This I don't guy know if, is a real dangerous fighter, Duke. I don't know if 60 seconds is going to be long enough for Graham Earl to recover, because this guy is going to come that. out and just swarm all anyway. over him. Hey, what we said we was going to do, and you've gone to get everything we said we were going to do. Why? Box, son, box. Right. Box, box, easier said than done. That's Johnny Eames' words of almost like desperation in that corner. And he still looks a little bit unsteady to me and a bit dazed and bemused as he steps up off his stool. And now Katsidis will go looking to end this one. And one big punch might be enough to do it. Straight away, he's looking to rein in big hooks, big left hand, and Earl's going to go down again, surely. Mickey Vance having a close look at this one, and he doesn't want to take too many more of these. Two more thudding right hands, and Mickey Vans looking for the moment when he has to leap in, and it could be any second now, as Earl does no more than just try to cover up, but bravely, and the fans respond as he rounds those two terrific right hooks. And look at this, the sheer guts from Graham Earl. Yeah, but John Cassidis is world-class. 
He's not putting everything into every punch. He's trying to pick the... Oh, good right hand. Terrific right hand, and that must be the end of it, surely. He's got up to his feet, is Graham Earl, but that's the third time he's been down. And now Mickey Van will say, walk towards me, which he does. And he looks right into his eyes. Are you OK? He probably whispers into his ear. And now the big punches resume once more. The towels funny. come in. Johnny Eames has thrown in the towel. And Mickey Van picks it up and throws it out of the ring. And the fight continues. Corner men cannot stop a fight in the British ring. Oh, well Great right hand from Earl. What about that? And Katsidis now is all over the place. He's on rubber legs. Astonishingly, a right hand has taken Katsidis right down to his boots. And in the second round, can Graham Earl somehow turn this around? This is extraordinary. John, what controversy! The referee threw the towel out from his corner, from uh, from from his corner, and now it's Els on the attack. And as Casillas desperately hurt, I don't even think Casillas has recovered. Look at his legs, John. They're like jelly. We have more than a minute to go in the second round. Astonishing fight this has been. Earl looked as though he was surely staring defeat in the face. His corner thought so. And now, how well has Katsidis recovered? Maybe he just momentarily took his foot off the gas, was nailed by that right hander. And now Earl senses that in this astonishing second round, he may be able to turn it around. Momentarily there, Katsidis almost looked as though he sank down again from the impact of that right hand. But now has Earl punched himself out? Well, John, that's the thing. I think Earl might have punched himself out. It's just a question of who's got what left between two big punches. Oh, this, this is, is fantastic. Extraordinary. extraordinary round. Earl takes another big right hand, but he digs deep. He knows now that he can hurt Katsidis. Well, where's your money now? John, Closing seconds of an astonishing second round. It's Katsidis' right hand which seems to be paying off at the moment, John. Is that one gone low there? John, this hand low from Katsidis. Is it? It. Unbelievable. Don't stand and trade with him. Well, if you've got well, it, you've got to be here, here we man. are in the corner, the and here's the moment that Earl went down, but he got up and put Katsidis down. Look at that. What a round. What a round. And they're saying, don't stand and trail with Katsidis. You have got to box. He certainly does. He's proved what he can do if he just gets uh, just a little bit of distance on Katsidis, John. Now you know that, like all punchers, they can be hurt. Oh, another good right hand from Earl. Katsidis takes it well this time, though, and is going looking for Earl again. You know, just when it looked like Earl was going to get blown out of the water, he's come back and he's met Katsidis with the same punch that he got nailed with. Who's got what left? There were plenty of people who said when they saw Earl's last fight against Angel Ramirez that he looked pretty much washed up. Earl said to me this week, well, I don't think so. And apparently in sparring, he's been handling the welterweight Ross Minter pretty well, and that's quality sparring for a big puncher, a man like Katsidis, who, remember, has never tasted defeat as a professional. I was going to keep... How did he wind up with that? I was going to keep his chin tucked up, John, because when a Katsidis throws these bombs, that's when he's at his most dangerous. This is inconceivable that this can go 12 rounds. This won't go 12 rounds, John. Why not go three? Earl's just looking just a little bit, a little bit arm weary, just a little bit tired. He's almost got a sorry look on his face, John, but I guess that's just the way he looks. So he's doing plenty of smiling in the changing room. There's not too many smiles from Katsidis now, as Earl once again brings in a big right uppercut. What guts from Graham Earl. It really is. He's got the names of his children tattooed on his arms, Megan and Shay. And they'll be watching somewhere, mighty proud of their dad. Oh, look at them, though, landing simultaneously with terrific right hands. Both boxers are very well schooled, John, but Cassini's is just having that final say as he turns these punches right over for maximum power. Keep working the body. Work the body. This is a thriller of fight. Oh, one, two, terrific left hands. And the referee says they're low. And he's giving time out. He says they were low. Well, it's going to be interesting to see those again because that was borderline at very least. But Mickey Van, vastly experienced referee, now 63 years old in his 
141st world title fight. He's been all around the world refereeing top boxing in a long career as a star class referee. And he said it was outside the rules. You see, he still looks so strong, John. He's kept his composure. I was trying to do a good job and be a little bit more evasive. But just when you think Katsidis is coming on strong, then back comes Earl. Somehow found he resolved. Oh, there's a left hand, but that's a stumble. It's no stumble. knockdown. No knockdown, says the referee. Katsidis has just slightly changed his no, tactics. No, that was low blow. He may get a point taken away for that because he's had the warning. I wouldn't be surprised if he took one away. Well, there goes the bell. From the head down, everything well, nice. just as we went Not to the advertising the break, you maybe saw a referee say he's taken a point away, and that was why. Left hand from Katsidis, it was a low blow, he'd had the warning, and so Graham Earl, presumably on the judges' scorecards, would take that one, Duke, I guess. That has to go a 10 now in round to, to Earl. Well, John, I've actually given it a 10-8, because uh, if Earl would have won the round, it would have been 10-9, but he took a point away, so I've made it a 10-8 round to Earl. Well, all I can say with absolute certainty is that I don't know which way this fight's going to go. Great jab again! Look at these jab. big shots going in from Katsidis once more. He's so open, though, to the counter shot, to the counter punch, and Earl's capitalising that. He tries to unload with these two-fisted swinging hooks, and as he does so, Earl's able to pick him off with counters, but Katsidis is looking the stronger again here in the fourth. What Cassidis is doing now, John, he's trying to roll under under Earl's jab. No knockdown, that's a push. push. He's trying to roll under Earl's jab as he jabs and hit him with a left hook, then he throws the right hand. You think it's only a matter of time before Cassidis gets through again. But just as you say that, back comes Earl again. He's got amazing fighting resolve, this man. Things? He's... He's not a flashy character, he's understated, but goodness me, when the chips are down, can't he fight? Yeah, Big right it, uppercut from Katsidis the in there. Katsidis, his right eye, John, is now starting to show the scars of battle. What a surprise, good grief, look at this. Beautiful. Right in front Beautiful. of us, a matter of three or four feet away from where we're commentating, they are absolutely toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And I tell you what, the power of some of these shots is almost frightening. John, it's savage. These punches are savage. These guys are putting everything into... Oh, every punch! Oh, that is extraordinary. Well, we're... Uh, Defence slipping shots, forget it. And here comes Katsidis, gambling, trying to get Earl out of there. I can't count every shot here. There are dozens going in. But somehow Earl stays on his feet and comes back with that. All around this stadium, people are standing up and cheering. One good shot from Earl and this one would be over. I know he's taken a hell of a lot, John. But Katsidis has nearly punched himself out now. This is tremendous. Well, there have been some memorable nights at this wonderful old arena in North London. A listed building, a listed building for its architecture. It might also be for its pugilism, and look at this. Oh, my word, John, this is fantastic. Incredible. It's incredible. Two-fisted attack from Casillas. How Earl standing up to this, I don't know. I'm coming back with that. Last few seconds. Goodness knows what these lads are earning in there, but whatever it is, it ain't enough. Astonishing fight, quite astonishing, and they've almost punched themselves to a standstill in this richly dramatic fourth round. There is a really bad cut on the left eyelid of Graham Earl, and Mickey Van said to the corner, one more is all you'll get. He said it quite clearly. I was talking to Mickey Van earlier on today about precisely that possibility. We were talking about the fight a couple of weeks ago, which was stopped a little bit prematurely when the Manchester fighter got caught with a similar cut, but this time Mickey Van said, I'm going to give it time, I'm going to give it time to go on, if I can do, if there is a cut. And now he's been as good as his word, and he's giving Graham Earl three minutes. But if that cut opens up again and Katsidis will be trying to target it, then there can only be one conclusion. Well, you know, a lot will depend on what Katsidis has got left now, as to what that last onslaught took out of him, because he put maybe 20 or 30 punches together before he got a response from El. El did fantastically well in soaking these punches up. El's got to just put 
throw caution to the wind and look to try and take this guy out of his stride. He's got to nail him again, John. That's the bottom line. Now, how much has Earl got left? Look at that. Showed him the left and then powered him with the right over the top. But you've got to ask the question, is Katsidis allowing Earl to tee off on him before he starts his attack? I don't think it have allowed him to throw that right hand and another good left hook from Earl. He's going to do it. You heard the ultimatum from the referee clearly on the ringside microphones. One more round. But Earl's boxing out of his skin, John. He really is. He's trying to pick these shots. He got hurt with the jab there and another jab. But he's trying so hard to turn the tide. I bet Andy Morris is watching this, that Manchester fighter who got stopped and he's going to be thinking, if only I'd had an extra three minutes to do perhaps what Graham Earl still now can do in the remaining seconds of this round as he tries desperately to turn this one around. Left hand again looks a little bit low from Katsidis. Katsidis is blowing, John. That last round took a hell of a lot out of him. He can only throw single shots to the body at the moment. Oh, good right hand though from Katsidis, and it stiffened the legs of Graham Earl, who's now being backed up into the Katsidis corner and one more big attack from the Australian might now take it Earl's in desperate territory but he fires back with a solid right hand as he comes off the ropes this has been one of the most dramatic fights that I've seen for some time or Earl should just grab hold of him now John and turn him in the corner he shouldn't be standing there waiting to trade grab hold of him, turn him in the corner get out of the corner, look for some solace in the middle of the ring but is Mickey Van going to finish this one? Is he going to stop it on the final bell, I wonder? Or will he allow it to go? Will he allow it to go on? Because that cut has not opened up. Big right hand from Earl, but here comes Katsidis again. Well, last few seconds and the bell goes. And what? Well, Johnny Eames is saying to Graham Earl, you're getting hit too much, I want to pull you out. They're going to retire him and the fight is all over. Graham Earl is defeated. He's been retired in his own corner. Has done what Eddie Futch did to Joe Frazier against Muhammad Ali when he said after 14 rounds, you've had enough. And there is the embrace, and I think a wise decision from a compassionate trainer as Eames pulls Graham Earl out after what has been a quite astonishing fight. Graham Earl, I wonder where he goes from here. I think he did enough to show that his career is not over. They've talked about him as a potential man somewhere down the career. Of, uh, of Amir Khan may have been a clash of heads that caused that clash that caused that cut let's take another look was this where it happened there's a clash of heads there well I'm not so sure whether that well there there's a right hand which certainly got home on the point difficult to tell except the retirements of Graham Earl the winner and WBO interim lightweight champion of the world your appreciation please for our fine visitor from Queensland Australia Michael Katsidis